at the Kwai River Christian Hospital on Thursday morning, February 5th. This is the first Thursday of this month, and it is Under Five's clinic day. A day for a health maintenance clinic for children less than five years old. And the front yard of the hospital looks more like a fairgrounds than a hospital front yard. On Under Five's clinic day, over 200 children are brought to the hospital for their routine vaccinations and weighing. And between the children and their parents, there's quite a crowd here. So the local merchants take advantage of the situation and bring things to sell. If we have fresh vegetables, you might say this is the produce aisle, but there's also other things to eat. Down there we have a, uh, something hot to eat, maybe some noodles. And there's also other things to buy, clothes, balloons, and all manner of things. The uh, carnival is just getting started. There's still truckloads of goods coming in, and the parents and kids have only just begun to arrive. In fact, the clinic won't really get underway for another hour or two. This is the uh, food truck coming in. Well, the carnival is going on in the front of the hospital. Here in the back of the hospital, folks are preparing their breakfast. Actually, some of them have already fixed it and eaten it. Others are just getting ready. They're uh, cooking their food over charcoal stoves. Uh, in the background, all this... Uh, Gunfire is actually cap guns that the kids are playing with. We're not really having a war here. They probably just bought their caps at the uh, at the carnival out in front of the hospital. In the back of the hospital here, we have three buildings for chronic patients, patients that are not so ill that they have to be in the main hospital building being looked after uh, closely, but on the other hand, they're not ready to go home either. These patients have conditions like tuberculosis or leprosy, or in some cases, they've uh, had an operation, they're waiting to have their stitches removed, or they're waiting for a ride back to their refugee camp. Most of the patients back here are refugees. They get a ration of rice and yellow beans and fish paste, no, not fish paste, sardines, and cooking oil and salt, which is supposed to last them for the week. Here's a lady using wood for her little stove, uh, a rice pot on some rocks and a few bits of wood underneath. They have to go find this wood wherever they can uh, in the general vicinity of the hospital. So they have they shoot county land. Okay, there's a young lady who has a stricture in her trachea. To cook, making some sort of a vegetable dish. Looks like the leaves off of one of the local trees here. This is uh, the tuberculosis longhouse, where patients uh, from far away, again, mostly refugee camps, are kept for their entire course of tuberculosis treatment. If they're not kept here, they tend to be lost to follow up. They don't come back on the appointed day, which is not only uh, bad news for the patient, but also bad news for the community in which they live, because they're likely to be spreading their tuberculosis to other people. 
There's a little hot water being boiled. There in the background is the door to the storeroom where the food supplies are kept. This is the back of the main hospital building we're looking at now. The carnival is on the other side of this main building. There's only one uh, substantial concrete building at the moment, but uh, there's a plan to build a new one. A new wing is planned for later in 1998. Inside of one of those three buildings in the back of the hospital for patients who uh, are not quite ready to go home yet but don't really need to be in the main building. This kid's just been given his morning medicine. His mother's showing him off to the world here. So, uh, Dikhaab. There's just a few rooms in this uh, building back here. People lay mats on the floor for sleeping and uh, try to make themselves at home as best they can. Oh, here's somebody with a little hat, fancy little hat. Dikap. So Dikap. He's eating his breakfast. In Thailand, they use the same word for eating rice as for eating your meal. Motorcycle, as many of our staff do. And here comes Zivalai, who works in the central supply, bringing one of our other workers with her. This is the bicycle parking lot, bicycle and motorcycle parking lot just behind the hospital. Some curious patients, patients relatives as well as decorated his space. Pharmacist, missionary from Australia, arriving by bicycle, others Arriving on foot, so what they come. This is Mitai, the hospital chaplain. He's uh, making last minute preparations for the morning worship service. Benches have all been straightened out and the hymn books laid out. Soon the staff will be gathering here for the first uh, scheduled event for the daytime staff. Chaplain is announcing the hymns in Thai. In English, In Thai and Karen and in English. It will be sung in three languages. station, you might say the nerve center of the inpatient department. We're just getting ready to make rounds here in a little bit. Telephone is ringing, this is the outside phone. 
The place where we had morning worship just moments ago is the outpatient waiting area. The benches are still empty right now because the patients uh, haven't had a chance to register. Back behind the uh, outpatient waiting area is the laboratory. The girls are just setting up the lab for the day's work. Today it will probably be a very busy day on account of the uh, under fives clinic. Many mothers come to uh, bring their kids for their routine weighing and vaccination and if they have anything even a little bit wrong with them they bring them to see the doctor and that sometimes means a blood test for malaria and for uh, pneumonia and other problems that they might have. Inside here is a uh, room where we can do some some other blood work biochemistry studies, a uh, little more sophisticated work than in the outside room. Thank Dr. Sakta. Dr. Sakta is uh, my Thai doctor colleague making rounds this morning. What's the matter with this patient? Appendicitis. Appendicitis? Uh -huh. This one had a ruptured appendix, right? Yeah. yeah. Very sick man when he came into the hospital. Looks a lot better now. In this room we have a couple of fellows with uh, chest tubes. They have what are called empyemas. Pus in the chest cavity. Probably due to uh, Pneumonia in one case and tuberculosis in another case. This is the uh, the men's ward, the big men's ward. There's uh, six beds in here. Patients with various problems, uh, various surgical problems, as well as medical problems. Another patient out in the hallway. This is the women's ward. There's nine, nine beds in here, women and children. This lady just had a major operation on her leg, which I did a couple of days ago. Big guy, what is it? Chip, ma? Chip. Chip. Yeah, she had a very badly fractured uh, tibia and fibula, leg bones broken all together in three places. This lady had a perforated peptic ulcer. She had a hole in her stomach. It went right through. We uh, washed out the abdominal cavity, cleaned out the bile and the gastric juice that was floating in the abdominal cavity. Also took out a roundworm that was running around free in her abdominal cavity, one that had apparently crawled out the perforation in her stomach. The uh, clean room for, the extra clean room for uh, delivery cases. We try to reserve this room for women who are in labor or uh, who have already delivered. This patient uh, had a hysterectomy. She just been out to the fair with her husband. It looks like they bought a few little things to bring back with them. Wen Tong, our cashier and pharmacy assistant. Good morning, Wen Tong. Hard at work figuring out the patient's bills, counting money. This is money in the pharmacy. Dusting things off, getting ready for another busy day. The medicines in our pharmacy are uh, mostly bought in Bangkok. This is the outer pharmacy room with the active stack. And then inside is the, uh, the main stack, the main supply. There's never enough room in here. 
but uh, sometimes we have to put some medicines in the overflow storerooms. Our receptionist is registering the first patient of the day now. Looks like this man has a painful eye. Where the patients have a uh, an old record. She'll try to find the, find the old record. So we have some background information on the patient, otherwise she makes a new record. The old records are kept in these filing cabinets here. We're up to 40,000 and some now, I believe. 40,000 and some separate patients. Some of them, of course, have visited the hospital many, many times. Here comes some more patients. This one has her green card already. After the patients register, they uh, take their card over here to the nurse aide who takes their weight and their blood pressure and their temperature. And then if it's indicated, they go from there to the lab where they get their blood work done. This happy little kid isn't going to be happy much longer, I'm afraid. He doesn't know what he's getting himself into. Beginning to look a little apprehensive here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Say goodbye to check like that. <laughs> Malaria smear and a white card is what's been ordered. Probably had a fever for a few days. Been kind of one, huh? Fever starting last night, says the mother. All right, The under five clinic is now underway. Lots and lots of kids and mothers crowding in here to get their babies registered. Here's on me, one of our public health workers, counting out tablets for, uh, I suppose, for the regular twice a year bee warming, or maybe for kids with a little fever. Here, Kali is registering the kids in the book. Hello, Kali. There, let me have that. This uh, is what we call the road to health chart. Shows what the baby's weight is supposed to be. And if it's not what it's supposed to be, then we have a look and try to find out why. This is the health record of the kids. Out in front here, the market, as it were, or the carnival, is still going strong. Taxis bringing in patients and taking patients back. Here's one just arrived. I say taxi, they're really pickup trucks with benches in the back. Two long benches, one down each side. These arrive at the hospital approximately one an hour coming and one an hour going. Even on ordinary days, they come about once an hour. On under five cleaning day, things are particularly busy. The hospital, Matei and Shelley are hanging out the hospital laundry. This uh, arrangement works very well in the dry season, or any day that the sun is shining brightly, as it is today. The clothes get dry quickly and cheaply and uh, get aired out in the process. Unfortunately, in the rainy season, uh, sometimes it'll rain for days on end, and it just doesn't work to hang up clothes outdoors. And so for those days, there's a, there's a shed or a roofed over area here for hanging out clothes out of the way of the rain. And that works reasonably well, except 
the atmosphere during the rainy season is so moist that sometimes even under the roofed over area the uh, clothes don't get dry fast enough and we get behind so we're hoping to uh, hoping to change that with uh, with some spinners and a clothes dryer because when we have uh, 30 or so patients, inpatients, 20 some in the main building and more out and back, we need to, we need to keep that laundry going fast, uh, recycling fast. Drapes, uh, bed sheets, towels, curtains, all manner of past 5.30, but uh, the shipment of refugee rice and cooking oil arrived earlier today, and now the, the patients themselves are lifting these heavy, heavy sacks of rice. Here, quite a bit of grunting here. So there'll be something to eat here for the next few weeks at least.